if you take a look at this market you can see that it is moving in a range so we have this area inside this box which is a range so usually what traders do when it comes to trading a range they'll obviously be buying on the lows and obviously be selling on the high so it's buying on the support and then selling on the resistance but then there is a mistake that traders usually do for an example they don't care about where the range is coming from and also they don't care about how price actually behave or how is price changing inside the range so if you can take a look for an example okay let me start with the first one the direction like where is the range coming from if you can see here the range is coming from the downside going inside and then the market started meaning before the range the buyers were in control so it was the buyers who were strong before the range so meaning when the market is now slowing down because remember a range it is just the market slowing down so you can see here the market has been moving in an uptrend and then it is slowing down so it was all buyers buyers and then the market is entering in a range so when this is happening it definitely means that the buyers they are now going down in terms of strength so the strength of the bias is going down meaning whatever that you do inside the range make sure that you don't bet with the bias or you don't go with the bias why because for the fact that the market is in the range it means that the bias are, uh, the bias strength is decreasing né? so when you see price approaching your support for example here you shouldn't rush into making uh, buying decisions because it is not easy for price to continue to go up look look at this confirmation so if you can see the waves inside this um this range you can see that the waves of the sellers are very very aggressive like this one going down is just a huge red, red candles even this one there was even a gap so the sellers they are very very aggressive even that first one but when it comes to the buyers it takes time for the buyers to actually complete a wave so you can see it takes time for the buyers to actually complete a wave so it's a hard for buyers to actually be in the game in this range so it means that if you really want less risk or if you want to decrease the risk it's it's easier and it's recommended that you go with the sellers you only look for opportunities in the resistance because it's also likely that the price or the market is going to go down because usually ranges they indicate and transition from one direction to another direction so it's likely that the market is going to go down after this range so what you should be waiting for as a trader it is to look for selling opportunities all the way up there and also waiting for breakouts and the market breaks out all the way on the downside and then try to execute your trade going down but i don't say that you shouldn't execute buying trades so what is going to give you an opportunity for buying trades it's when you begin to see let me just clear everything it's when you begin to see higher highs and higher lows inside this range and you begin maybe to see the next high being higher than this one and you begin to see the next high being higher than this one same thing applies with the lows maybe you begin to see a low which is higher than the previous one then that might mean that okay the uptrend is actually resuming so you can continue with the buyers so i'm gonna leave it here these are very very important tips when it comes to range trading thank you guys